What's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm here to do my first uh, book review. Um, I've never really done a sort of book review in this way, so uh, bear with me. Just a disclaimer that this is not going to be the most professional, the greatest book review ever. Uh, I'm just going to sort of give my thoughts um, and sort of talk about what I think the author is trying to convey with his work. So, so I decided to start with a book I recently finished uh, that's pretty popular, um, 1984 by George Orwell. And I gotta say, I really, really like this book. Um, it was just mind-blowing towards the end. Uh, I really loved everything about it. Um, do I recommend it? Yes, 100%, but let's, let's talk about it a little. So we have this character, Winston, who is essentially a cog in the machine out of all these other cogs. Um, and they're basically part of like this party group system in the government that um, erases like past um, history. He erases like past history and he does it himself. And it's just crazy how um, the whole system works because in the end of the novel, there's actually an appendix which talks about um, how the uh, language changes, but I'm getting too ahead of myself. Let's talk a little bit more about um, the setting first. So you have this dystopian um, setting um, in this country called Oceana, which is essentially just um, the west side of the world, North America, South America. Um, and it's really interesting to see how the society is divided. You have like these people called the proles, which aren't part of the government or the party. But they're essentially sedated by alcohol and porn, like all this other stuff, which was really, really interesting to see as he wrote this back in like 1949, I believe. And you see this today where people are sedated by all these um, drugs and all this other vices like video games and stuff. And they just don't pay attention to what's really going on in the world and what's truly important. So I just thought that was really, really crazy. Um, and he got his spot on there. Um, and that's like 85% of the population. Then 15% of the population is these people in the government. Uh, and he, the main character, Winston, is part of uh, that um, section. So he's part of like this governmental system. And as there's like the, they're like, ma there's like mass surveillance. There's cameras everywhere. And there's like TV screens. And they have a picture of like this guy. And it's a big brother, and it's his big brother's watching you, and it's always literally watching you, it's always communicating with you. It's just super crazy. And obviously, we're nowhere near this level yet, but you know, with stuff like um, Amazon Echo and all these things, um, I don't know, there's like a bunch of these types of products you can purchase, Alexa and all that. Like, it's basically, like, let's be honest, like, how much do you, if you have one, I don't have one, I will never get one. But let's like, how much do you really use that? Um, and what do you even use it for? Uh, it, it's something that made me think about that. And it's, it's really crazy because those things f can easily be tapped into and listen at your at anyone's discretion. So it's pretty crazy. And as in our smartphones, um, it's really interesting to think about how that can be used to do that as well. Um, some of these things that are sort of ingrained and normalized in our um, day to day lives. <clears throat> Um, what else can I talk about? I'm talking about the plot. Um, uh, there'll be spoilers. I'll just get that out of the way. Everything about, uh, there wasn't a lot of characters. There was like three, four characters. So it wasn't really much development he needed to do for a lot of characters for the most part. Um, his relationship with Julia was pretty interesting to see. It sort of went it went zero to hundred. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna murder this chick. I'm gonna rape her. I'm gonna throw her out and all this stuff." And then freaking, she gives him that little no, "I love you," and it's like, "Okay," that all got thrown out the window. Crap. So yeah, I thought that was really, really crazy. And when they finally get caught by the government or whatever, that was sort of like a really, really like the the writing in this book. This book's writing was just, like, you can visualize everything in your head. It was really, really 
of gray because I don't I, I've been reading a lot and I can't visualize some of the stuff sometimes but in this book I was able to sort of visualize everything and when they get caught I was like oh shit like I was like god damn they're effed like they're screwed uh, and it sort of embeds that feeling of like hopelessness and eeriness with its setting where you have like everything like the place itself it's just always getting bombed and stuff and then they blame it on the country they're at war with and they've been at war with this country I think it's there's three countries there's Oceania which is where the book's set in there's East Asia and there's Eurasia so they're o they've always been at war with like one of them and then all of a sudden they just tell the people they're at war with the other one and then everyone just believes it and like they just erase all of any books or newspapers or anything that had anything about the previous thing with so it's just crazy um and then there's also like that scene where just towards the beginning where you have this chocolate um rations or whatever i guess the government gives out chocolate to people i don't know how that works but they gave it they gave everyone 30 and then they wanted to cut it back down to 25 but if they told everyone they're cutting it back to tw down to 25 that's obviously negative news so they said they're gonna bump it from 20 to 25 and it's just as if like no one acknowledged that it was 30 that they cut it down by five to 25 grams they just were like oh my god like five grams up so it's just crazy and back to what i was getting at with the appendix uh, it describes like this language system it's like new new think or something or new speak or whatever and it's there's like a whole like science behind it where like it's like you sort of make people believe in like all this bs like two plus two equals five and um all this like government can like all these like governmental propaganda bs and it just everyone just feeds into it because it's just super um well planned and designed because there's people literally changing everything so even if you wanted to prove it's not legit then you, there's nothing you can do about it so it's just crazy um and the whole torture sequence at the end when they brought when they when he gets betrayed by that o'brien character i sort of saw that coming to be honest uh with with o'brien because he was already sort of fishy as it is and i was i think the book was did a really like crazy job in how usually in these types of novels when you read them like there'll be like a whole like a governmental like revolution all that stuff and it was sort of building up to that and then it just stops completely i think that was really really cool because usually we see like the main character triumph over like this oppressive government i think that's more in like recent times but in this book he it, it's just there's nothing there it's like the whole thing was a setup the whole like um revolution thing it's actually made by the government so that they can catch people who do want to betray them or don't believe in them so that was really really mind-blowing um and i just really really enjoyed uh the o'brien's character too because he as a villain was super interesting how he explains to um winston that no matter what he says there, there's no way he can prove what he what o'brien's saying is false there's nothing he can do uh, and he's saying stuff like two plus two equals five which obviously is not true but then he like brings up like all this like mental gymnastics and he like proves him wrong or whatever so i thought that was really interesting um and the whole ending scene where he tortures him with the rats in the cage and he knows that his um uh, his fear is rats and he brings them out and he puts his face in there and he's like and then he makes him sort of betray julia was like super tense uh i could really feel like that that atmosphere being built up that was really really good um so the whole end where he actually ends up making winston believe in like the party and then when he's like sitting in the bar by himself and he watches the news and he's like actually like paying attention to it attention to it like just like this mind brainwash like guy even though like a few days ago he was you know he was like totally against the party it was crazy um because the whole idea is that they don't want someone they don't want anyone to not love big brother so then they'll make even people who hate him love him and then they'll kill him after and the book ends with like not necessarily a cliffhanger but just like ambiguous where he's like i love big brother and that's how it ends because he says he sees someone with a gun coming but we don't know if he's just hallucinating or not so that was that was crazy um i was like wow um really really great um i love the themes of the novel uh it talks about the dangers of mass surveillance and totalitarianism and all this stuff um personally i've always seen people use this book to 
drive some kind of point uh, for their political views. And I don't know if that's uh, really something that he was really going for because whenever I see people talk about this book, it'll be like, oh, um, Democrats against Republicans or it'll be Republicans against Democrats. I don't know if I don't know what his intention was for writing this. I don't know his his political views himself, the, the authors, but uh, I don't think he really wanted people to use this to just to just completely go one sided. I think it goes both ways, and there's some really interesting things to think about with this book. Um, and with Winston himself, I noticed he journaled a lot, which was super cool to see because that's the only way he was able to get his thoughts out and even hit his journal. So that was really crazy. Um, he didn't have any control over his life. Uh, everything's like set up or like in a way that there's nothing, no way you can deviate without getting in trouble. And he did that and he got in trouble. So yeah, um, really, really good book. Uh, really very, um, there was no feeling of hope. It was like completely like desolate, like very, it's very crushing novel in a way. Um, I would definitely recommend reading it. Um, it's really, really good. Um, don't know what else to say. I mean, it's pretty popular. I think I never actually read this in high school. Uh, I always thought I would, but I never did, fortunately. But I'm glad I definitely picked it up. I finished this in like two days. Uh, so really, really good book. Definitely recommend it. Uh, check it out. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say. Let me know what you think of this book. If you read it, let me know what you guys thought of the video. If you guys think there's anything I could do better, I would really appreciate you guys for letting me know. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.